Let's turn to Rich Michelson. Rich, the microphone is yours. Thank you, Bill. Um, I have a very special guest uh, here today, Marie Howe, uh, who uh, I'm sorry to say you missed an incredible reading last night um, at Smith That's College. you, the listener, not you, Marie Howe, That's because right. you gave the reading last night. That's right. <laughs> That's right. She only has vague recollections of it, though. That, um, I was there. And, and you're on your way to the care center, so we're very happy you can join us here. Uh, Marie, uh, a erstwhile New York State Poet Laureate, uh, <laughs> teaches at Sar Lawrence. Uh, a new book, Magdalene. Yeah. Uh, I think one of the most important books I have read in years, an incredible book. Uh, Marie, you are um, a religious mm. Catholic poet, I think in the best sense of those words. Um, I, I, I would argue with uh, that definition. Okay, argue in a minute. I don't experience uh, myself as Catholic. Um, no longer a practicing Catholic. I, I don't I, experience I, myself as religious. I, I think Catholic in yeah, in, the, in the other in the definition. C, the little C. Um, as a broad uh, mm -hmm. t And okay. religious in the sense that um, you make the everyday into a religious experience. I read your poems, um, you know... You find the ordinary rituals of life, and it becomes almost a religious experience, I think. The way, even in, in this book, Magdalene, um, you know, you're taking this religious um, personage and be making, it, making her into somebody you see on the street every day. Well, she was somebody you saw on the street every day. She was a real woman. And most uh, most stories of Magdalene never give her that voice. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yet she's everyone. Yeah. yeah. She's um. particular, and of course she's a sister to all women. And to me, she was a woman who was struggling to be the subject of her own life rather than the object of someone else's story. And also, as she was set up for many of us women as the repentant whore or the sensualist, um, in opposition to Mary, the Virgin. And that split has been a split women have endured since the beginning of patriarchy. Mm -hmm. And something that this pope is actually changing. Yes? I love this pope, and I feel that his, his heart is open, which is so it's what everyone can feel about him. You feel his heart open. When he says, who am I to judge? Or, you know, all that matters is love. Um, we we feel him about many policies. He still has not changed. But on Mary, he seems to have elevated her. Well, Mary Magdalene. Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, the truth is, Mary Magdalene, as we know her in all the paintings and everything, is a fiction. You know, it's fiction made up by by the early church fathers who created, who turned her into a as I say, a sensualist or a sex worker or somebody, and then that was picked up and carried on for centuries. And, you know, women's sexuality is still something that is taboo. Um, and women's sensuality and unapologetic sensuality and spirituality in the same body, you know, can exist. Um, so... No, I love, mm -hmm. I, I love Francis. I fear for Francis's life sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I think he's, um, I mean, putting up showers for the homeless in St. Peter's Square. I mean, he's an amazing... Clean and washing the feet of prisoners? Yeah. Wow. No. wow. Well, he, he identifies with everybody. That's the thing. And I think all his time in Latin America really taught him that. You know, you know what I'm reading right now? A great, great book, everybody. Even much more important than mine. Greg Boyle's book, Tattoos on the Heart. Have you read it? No. no. Okay, no. this is the guy. Please, everyone go buy this book, Tattoos on the Heart, Greg Boyle, working with former gang members in L.A. I, I do want to uh, tell people that everyone should also buy this book called Magdalene <laughs> yes. uh, by Marie Howe because it's an incredible book. Do you know Barry Moser's work, his Bible? I do now. So um, Barry, um, who we represent at the gallery, um, also is, um, you know, his major work was uh, the Penny Royal uh, Caxton Bible, and um, and the illustrations there turn yeah. everyone into real people. Yeah, and real and people. so it's when I was reading your book, mm -hmm. I was really also envisioning Barry's work. I love his work, and yeah, I mean the the great thing about these iconic figures is that they're so spacious. You know that that to, uh, and many number of women can inherit can inhabit Mary Magdalene because she's a myth. You know. 
um, like like uh, any of the Greek myths. I mean, you can, you can inhabit her and imagine you know, yourself as her. Um, so, but like in this case, in this book, for example, there's many, many um, poems about her and her sexuality and the teacher and the disciples. But this Mary Magdalene also adopted a girl in her older age, which mm -hmm. is what I did, too. Right. At 52, I adopted my daughter, which completely changed my life, of course, and illuminated it from the inside. Um, so... But I thought I could read, since we're at a news station, I could read a, uh, a poem called The News. Perfect. And it's eerily uh, pr uh, contemporary uh, because John Bolton is the man who is not named in this poem. But at that time, he was um, the Senate was conferring him as the United Nations representative. Refused to confirm him, right. actually, and then Refused. he became a recess appointment. From yeah, thank you for, for the correction, yes. And now, of course... He's our Secretary of well, National Security Thank Advisor. You. Thanks again. Um, so here's the news. <clears throat> the speaker's driving two little girls to preschool. You know, they're both in the back seat in their booster seats. Little girls. The girls in their booster seats behind me are playing mermaids. Hey, Mother Mermaid, they call out. I'm listening to the car radio and the senator breaking down on the Senate floor speaking against his party's nomination to the United Nations. And I say, yes, my mermaids, what is it? As the senator says, my colleagues tell me, don't worry, but I think of my children and my grandchildren, and here he actually begins sobbing. We're dead, the girls shout from the back. You're what, I say, dead, they call out laughing. Be sad. Boo-hoo, I say. They're dead. I'm sad. Still listening to the senator. And then a sighing, sort of singing, comes from the back seat. Ooh, we're spirits, the girls sing. High and sweet as the lost song of a lost race. And then, now we're back, laughing and dying and coming back maybe a half dozen more times before I pull into their preschool driveway and stop. This chamber, the senator says, is ominously quiet. Then one of the girls says, now let's just one of us be dead. And the other says, okay. And the first girl says, who? And the other says, you. And the rest is history. Mm. Marie Howe reading from her book, Magdalene. And um, you see why I'm in love with this mm -hmm. with this work. It just captures everything, um, history, the now, religion. It, it just um, your, your work is is incredible to me. Um, you've said, which is interesting to me, that the moral life is lived out in what we say more often than what we do. You're talking well, we're, about we're Americans. We watch, right? <laughs> I mean, that's what we do. A lot of us just watch. Um, I mean, not now, like th hearing the news about the sanctuary movement here, which is action, which is beautiful. Um, and, of course, the people who went to the airports, you know, um, when, when, when the immigrant, when the... the, so the, the it was in Trump's travel initial ban. travel ban on Thank seven you. Muslim Thank countries. You. My, my corrector is my... my <laughs> <laughs> You're in the right station here. I want okay, you guys to follow right me show. around. Can you also In this new me? authoritarian country, everyone has a political <laughs> handler. So here we go. Yeah, right. I want one. I want one. And I want someone to keep providing the noun I can't think of. You know, yeah. like, it takes me 10 minutes. You know? Yeah, I have trouble with verbs. We're going to get along just fine. Good. It's good. Okay, great. I got, I got the verbs. You can okay. help the noun. Terrific. Um, so, um, but so much of us, we're on this big continent. You know, we're isolated from everybody else. So we could never act the way we do. Um, and we mostly watch. We watch on TV, we watch on our screens, we have our opinions. Um, and so what we say then, actually say, clearly becomes a moral act. It always has been. It's, a speech is action, a kind of action. And then, of course, action is action. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, so much I want to talk to you about, uh, Marie, but um, we are running out of time, and I want to make sure we get in another poem. Okay. Because um, that's what our listeners want to hear. Okay, here's a poem called Walking Home. Perfect. Um, and it's got this girl in it again who really is 
the light of the book. Everything dies, I said. How had that started? A tree? The winter? Not me, she said. And I said, oh, yeah? And she said, I'm reincarnating. Ha, she said. See you in a few thousand years. Why years, I wondered. Why not minutes, days? She found that so funny. Ha, ha, doubled over. Years, she said, confidently. I think you and I have known each other a few lifetimes, I said. She said, I have never before been a soul on this earth. It was cold. We were hungry. Next time, you be the mother, I said. No way, Jose, she said, as we turned the last windy corner. Marie Howe, reading from the book Magdalene. Go out and get this book. Um, it will... Uh, improve your life, I promise. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Rich. Um, come back because I've to. got lots of things I want to talk to you about, um, poetry, life. Um, so we'll make sure that we get you back another Thanks, time. Thanks, Rich. And thank, thank you. you for going to the Care Center, which is, I understand, your next stop after oh, us. I'm so looking forward to Have you been there before? It. No. These young women who study and write and create poetry they are amazing. I can't wait to meet them. You're going I'm to have really an extraordinary forward. time at the I Care know, Center. I know. I can't wait. Marie Howe, thanks so much for being with us. Rich Michelson, thanks for having the world's greatest poets come visit us. Um, let them, thank, you, thank you, Bill, for <laughs> letting me bring them onto your show. <laughs> it's okay, your show. Money, I have you want to remind myself of that. We'll try to remember that. <laughs> This is Bill Newman, WHMP.